Yes, yes, yes. Hey, we're gonna be taking this uh, 190 Sea Runner out. A beautiful boat. I love that red. A burgundy or plumber or whatever you like to call her. She stands out with them graphics. A huge craft. 190 Sea Runner. Anchor guard up front. Dual wipers. Window stop. Got a horn right over there. Got a fish box in there. There's my Coast Guard package. You got your top, your sides. You got your backdrop. Crab dab it. You got your two Scotty pole holders there. You got a ski pylon there. You can actually make a little thing that goes on top of that and have like, if you want to go out for tuna, have like about six tuna lines going out back. Real pretty color. There's your drain for your uh, front bow. There's your drain for your fish box. You got like a little bit of reverses right in here. And this is at 21 inch six because it's got the offshore bracket. Uh, beams 96 crosswise from side to side. Fuel tank's like 60. Yeah, better touch that so I can see what I'm doing. I'm still getting used to this GoPro. Anyway, you got a 16 aft, uh, 23 midship, and then about 35 forward on the degree hole of this. Uh, side, side gauge is 125. You got bottom width is like 78. Uh, trans with 25 capacities, eight persons, about 1320. Maximum is 2455. Boat dry weight is 2150. It's a real nice, real nice package. Uh, you got your two inch peekaboo hole right there. You got your standard flip. You got your latch pin right there. Cables are good. I like those uh, because they don't rust on you. Like I say, two inch ball, top mount coupler. So from the ground to the top of the ball, you'd be looking about 20, 22 inches. And if this thing's pulled all the way out, you can either back it up. I don't have it all the way yet. There you go. And you can check your brake fluid. Make sure that's full. And you just put that in pop it. So if you backed up, you just push this to where it says backing. And boom, back it up. Fair tire, that's ST20575 R14s. Uh, heavy duty, actually galvanized with a keel roller. Uh, it's got the two uh, two by six, two slick bunks. Uh, makes it easy to load. You got your chine guides. You got your chine right here. You got your guide here so you don't have the wooden ones up here with the carpet to scrape uh, scrape your boat and then fall apart on you because the lag bolts fall out nice rub rail gear bath oil hubs brown good white bad five lug 80 pound torque you got discs on all four dual axle torsion axle uh, again st20575 r14 and then these actually you see that little clip right there these just unzip and that folds back so you got an open wing window there same thing with the front up there that there unzips so you don't have to unsnap it from the front and i thought i'd get out of here before it started raining <laughs> tram on this is t99 <laughs> xpb extra long shaft 6 avkx 1056 700 uh, that's the serial number on that that's 11 by 9 pitch prop these are both salt water protected this is an F-150 uh, XB, CG3PX, 1242854. Uh, keep these things greased up. You'll know if you lift it down one time and it goes I Just wipe some grease off, grease off the zero up there and wipe on that. that. They're meant to do that, the slide on these things right here. So if you ever hear that grinding noise, that's what that is. 17-pitch prop. Boom, so an F-150, they got the stainless prop shaft, drive shaft on both of these. You got two coats of clear, two coats of primer and special paint. Uh, zinc on each cylinder, fresh water flush, which is right there, doingo, doingo. And you got the cable steer that goes from the kicker to the main instead of that bar that flicks out the C-ring and there goes your end of it and there goes your tie bar. You got a screen right there. That's your uh, wash down, and this screen over here is for your live well. You got dual zincs here. You got the 51 or 54 uh, Clearview uh, transducer on Garmin. You got your two step ladder, anchor light. Uh, gear oil hubs look good on this side. You got your net holders. You got your antenna. And then I'll go through the inside real quick. I'll see how much time I got. Six. Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Wow. Okay, I'll do this. So then you can actually step on this, grab this grab handle. There are seacock valves up underneath there. That's C-Star hydraulic steering. This is your live well. 
and I'll step up here you're missing a cup holder they got to get that they did drill holes there and here for drainage or you'd have that full of water there's your crab dabbit they made these steps right here Ooh, so you don't step on your paint weld on down rigger brackets now there's a live well switch up front that you got to have on that energizes the power to this so you can hit this on your wash down works fish box is this right here and then up under there is your valve if that valve's open the other way that will drain this here will drain into there if you have it turned you can hit this switch right here and it pumps it out a nice little tackle area then you go up into here there's your live well that's your buffer so when this is and that's your overfill and there you get a plug for that but that does when there's water and it slows it down so you don't get water coming over the top uh, there's your doors. Uh, you got your storage box seats here. And then your boots in there. You got these nice suspension seats. You got your swivels. On this, you got your sliders. You got your swivels. I'm going to have them maybe drill some holes in that or put a plug. Uh, I think it might have been leaking up in that hose, so I'm going to have them tighten that up and I'll look at it. I'll add water to it. But if you get water, there's no way for that to get out footrest storage and then you got your top like I said you can zip this instead of unsnapping you can unzip zip and then that goes back you got a 703 control box there 703 for the kicker so if you hit this one that goes down you hit this one and that kicker goes down you got your keys keys these keys are numbered like right there is 752 so take a picture of those key numbers because if you lose them you can call a dealer and get it i put six gallons of non-ethanol in here you got your yamaha tack you got your lorance with ais gps and you got your uh garmin i think that's a it could be a 74 94 xsv i'll know when i fire it up this is a switch you have to have on and then hit the one back there on courtesy lights you don't have nav lights they do work. You got your horn in here, wipers there. Then you got your bilge here. Uh, your mic here, you can do your channel. Like your volume here, you can do your channel up and down 69 high, low frequency. That's, uh, I forgot what that is, one to 25 watts. Okay, we will head to the water. This is Boat Doctor out.